Around two months ago, I heard a story that really pulled at my heartstrings. Although High Lifeline is a very hands-on organization, from providing respite volunteers constantly in families' homes, and big brothers and big sisters taking kids out, to dozens of hospital visits by staff and volunteers every single day, High Lifeline did not stop when COVID-19 hit our community. They immediately adapted, just like they always do, adjusting to meet the unique needs of every family. There was a teenage boy with an underlying medical condition who contracted the coronavirus. And while he was in the hospital with his mother, the rest of his family sat at home in isolation, scared and worried about what will be. During one particular stressful day, this boy's younger sibling sat on the couch with their father, desperately waiting for an update from the doctors. And suddenly there was a knock on the door, and the following is what their father emailed to the senior staff of Chai Lifeline after opening the door. Dear Rabbi Scholar and all the great people of Chai Lifeline, we are going through a very, very rough time. Yossi was diagnosed with COVID-19 and he's been hospitalized in Robert Wynn Johnson Hospital. It's been very hard on the kids not knowing what will be. And we were sitting on the couch with all the kids and there was a sudden knock on the door. And there was a volunteer with a box of goodies and toys to keep our minds out of the hospital for a few minutes. You should be gebenched. Rabbi say that's what Chai Lifeline is all about. It's about providing relief and salvation when people are in desperate, desperate times, when people have given up hope sometimes, when people don't know where that answer, where that salvation, where that listening ear, and where that caring heart will come from, High Lifeline steps in time and again.